Recent printer advances have focused more on performance and ease of use than anything else. Things like the Revo, the CHT, extruders like the Orbiter, 48 volt steppers, easy boards and such have made things easier or faster, but they haven't really improved automation. Even something like the AMS or the AMS Lite haven't really improved automation that much compared to other multicolor options before. MMUs could already do this thing. Bamboo Lab just made it cheaper and easier and more reliable. In fact, it's quite rare that we get an upgrade for automation. And for a device that prides itself on automation, it's kind of weird. But that's not the case here. This is the swap mod, an upgrade to the A1 Mini that swaps the build plate once your print is finished. You might have seen some build plate swappers in the DIY space. These tend to be complicated, clunky things, but this one is ingeniously simple. I can't stress that part enough. It's ingeniously simple. All this is is a handful of printed parts and a small additional kit. There are no firmware changes. There are no manual changes to start G-code or end G-code. There are no permanent changes to the printer. There are no compromises and no sacrifices. I've been playing with this for about a week and I am really impressed with how much you can get out of it for how little you need to put in. This is a fantastic upgrade for anyone needing to print batch prints. And because the A1 Mini is great for this upgrade, it is affordable, it's easy to be upgraded with the AMS Lite, and it really brings the process of batch production down to even printer beginners. If you have an Etsy or something like that and you use the A1 Mini, you have to get this. You just have to get this. Assembly is ridiculously easy. It literally took me about 30 minutes to put everything together, which also included a 10 minute self test. Let's watch that. So first thing that happens is the print head moves up to the top, contacting a spring, compressing it, which puts tension on the wire line that runs through a PTFE tube down to a catch at the front of the bill plate. This lifts up the bill plate. The bed then moves back and the plate hangs on at the front. And as it detaches from the bed, that lack of weight activates another catch, which then grabs the next plate. The bed moves forward then, pushing out the old bill plate. The bed then moves back again and the new plate falls into place. And this happens every time you need to swap the plate at the end of the print. The whole swapping process takes about a minute. Satisfying. All the parts can be printed on the Mini, so if that's the only printer you have, you won't have any problems with this. Each part that attaches to the actual printer are snap and lock in parts, so you don't need to make any permanent changes to your printer. The screws that you need only contact the printed parts or go through the hole on your build plate. And the build plate is easy to modify. You just need one printed part, four screws and one nut. That's it. Again, no permanent changes to the printer, no permanent changes to the build plate. The swap mod can hold up to 10 build plates. And when ejecting a used build plate, there is a little rack on the front for it to be held securely until you want to take it. Remove the parts and put it back on the plate holder ready for the queue. Using this method, you can technically run an infinite amount of prints with the only requirement being removing your prints and putting the plate back and making sure you don't run out of filament. You can, of course, not use the little rack and let the plates fall into a container should you not be worried about any fragile prints. The fact that you don't need to make any changes to the start G-code or end G-code to make this work is what makes it really, really awesome. You just need to load up your STL or 3MF, position the models on as many build plates as you want, slice all the build plates and export the G-code. You can then visit the swap mod website, import the G-code and it will generate everything you need automatically. You can then load it up in the slicer and send it to your A1 Mini. When you do load it up in the slicer, it will look as everything is on one plate. That's normal, don't panic. Just continue and it will go to the printer as normal. You can use Bamboo Slicer if you want, but I am actually using my preferred slicer, Orca Slicer. Combining this mod with the AMS Lite makes things amazing. Of course, you can do multiple build plates with multicolor prints, but you can also alternate between colors and materials per build plate if you want. Are you selling an awesome vase on Etsy? Print it on one build plate in yellow, then the next in red, then the next in blue, and then green, and then repeat. I think VAS mode prints are also a great use case for this mod because printing multiple VAS mode prints on one build plate is close to impossible, shall we say. But with the swap mod, I can just set it up in the queue. And keep in mind, a lot of people, including myself, set up prints for overnight jobs. 
which is natural. We're asleep. We want to make the most of this time by printing stuff. So you come back in the morning and your print is there. It's ready. Super awesome. Mega efficient. But then you find out that your printer stopped printing at two in the morning. So it's been doing absolutely nothing for the last six hours. With the swap mod, you have a solution to this because I know a lot of you have a deadline. You want to get things done as quickly as possible. So you set your alarm for three in the morning so you can start the next print as soon as possible and no time is wasted. Yeah, I've been there too. After using this for a while, I did have one problem, and that is I need more AMS lights because once you start using this and you get an idea of how automated your printer can be, you really want to get the most of that. And that means eight colors at least, because then you can set this printer up for days working on batch prints with so many colors. And unfortunately, the A1 Mini, you can't link AMS lights yet. Hopefully someday soon we'll get that. And someday, maybe we'll even get a version of the swap mod for the standard A1, which would be awesome. This kit has not yet been released. We were lucky to get a kit from Andre, the creator, to check it out. And I'm really happy to announce that the Kickstarter that was online reached its goal last week. Actually, it, it totally smashed it. So way to go, Andre, and I am looking forward to seeing this released in the near future. If you guys have any questions about the swap mod, then let us know in the comments down below. And you can also join our Discord server where we can talk about this and lots of other mods if you'd like. Links to Andre's website and the Kickstarter are down below. You can check them out there. We'll see you guys next time. Later.